I'm going to zoom in on my sequence. So using your keyboard, you could push down the plus sign or the plus key a couple times to zoom in on your sequence. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add two more video layers. So all you got to do is right click on this empty space here and go to add track. And we're going to do this one more time. We're going to go to add track. So we just added two more tracks up here. We're going to hide these two tracks up here. So when you hide it, that means that you're not going to be able to see the video clips up there. They're going to be like invisible. So let's go ahead and hide those two tracks. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to trim our video clip because notice how all of these tracks start at a different time. So we have the purple scene here. This is the light bulb scene. It starts first and then you see the railroad track scene come on second. But notice because it's on top of it, it's going to cover the bottom scene, right? So now we just hit that. But there's no audio because the audio don't start until three seconds later. And then we have the brown scene and the tan scene is going to be the close up shot of her outside. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim it so that it's all even. Let's press C for the razor tool. And if you press down the shift key and if you slice at the same time by holding down the shift key, you're going to slice through all of the different tracks. Let's press the letter V for the selection tool and let's select all of these clips here at the beginning and delete. So now all the clips start at the exact same time. Let's go ahead and bring the video clips all the way down to zero. So if you click on this gap right here, press delete or backspace, and now you have your clips starting at zero. Remember when we made these two layers here, we made layer V4 and V5. We're gonna drag the brown and the orange layers. We're gonna drag them to the top, just like this. So now when I play this, When I play it, notice that I can't see the top layers. And the reason why I can't see them, because we hid them. We click on the eye icon to hide those. So this is the fun part, guys. So we already did the hard part. The fun part now is going to be to cut the music video and you can cut the music video any way that you want. The only thing that you are gonna be required to do is to cut it every three to four seconds. We should see a different camera shot. It shouldn't be 10 seconds. It shouldn't be 15 or 20 seconds of the same shot. We're going to get bored. When you play a clip for that long, the viewer is going to get bored of seeing the same clip. So you have to keep it moving. You constantly have to cut the video clips to make it engaging and interesting. So I'm going to play this for about three seconds, three to four seconds. I'm going to stop it there and to stop it. All you have to do is press the space bar. I'm going to press the letter C for cut. And now I'm going to pick what shot I want. And this is going to be totally up to you on what you want to do. But I'm going to cut this to the orange scene right here. The medium shot of Mia on the railroad tracks. I'm going to slice it there and I'm going to bring Mia down here to the V2 layer. And now let's play this. And I'm going to cut it right there. So I'm going to slice this up and I'm going to drag the orange clip back to where it should be. And now I'm going to drag maybe the brown one, the tan video clip at the very top. I'm going to slice that with the selection tool. I'm going to select it and bring it down. And I'm going to play this for about three to four seconds. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and slice the tan clip there. So right now I'm using the C and the V key a lot. So if I press the letter V, I can select the tan and bring it back up to its original state. So let's go ahead and play this to see what my cutting is looking like. But before I play it, I'm going to go ahead and render this because I do see yellow. So let's render this. Alright, 
pause. And when I pause, I just press the space bar. I'm gonna press the letter C to cut. This time I'm gonna use the orange clip here. So I'm gonna slice it right there. And I'm gonna press the letter V to select the video clip and I'm gonna drag it all the way down. And I'm gonna play this for about three to four seconds. I'll pause it there. I'm gonna press C for cut, V to select, and I'm gonna drag it back. And this time I'm gonna drag the tan clip. So slice it there and I'm gonna bring it down. And now I'm gonna play this. You stay up to the moment, I swear it's so annoying. Boy, I'm so over you. Pause, cut, select, bring it back and play it. You can be reality, your fake love personality. Pause, C to cut. We're gonna grab this orange clip, V to select, drag it down, and play. You fooled me and I fell for it, can't take no more of it, boy, I'm so over you. Don't. So maybe right there, I'm gonna slice that up. Bring back the orange clip back and play it. Pause and let's bring the tan one down and play it. Don't care about what you think. Cuts, bring it back and play it. Can't try to cover up the past. Pause, cut, bring it down, and play. Do what you say and never last. Yeah, they never last. Say what I wanna hear, then do so fast. Okay guys, so this is pretty simple. I'm not using a lot of different tools. The only tool that I'm using is the selection tool and the razor tool. And I'm just kind of slicing the clips. I'm dragging them down and then I, I drag them back up to its original place. If you notice these two top layers, we have, they're hidden so we really can't see them. And this is what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and render what we got and let's play it to see what it looks like. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the entire video. We're at 41 seconds. But before I get started, I just wanna make sure that um, you kinda of keep everything organized, right? So if you look at the tan video clip, it's on the V6 layer, so this is hidden. I'm always gonna keep those up there. And when I drag them down, I'm always gonna drag it to the V3 layer. That's where the tan clip is going to go. Then the orange clip, the V5 layer, I'm always gonna drag those down to the V2. So I kind of keep everything organized in that way. And then my purple layer, the one that's on the V1, I'm always gonna keep that there. I'm never gonna really mess with that. I could even lock that layer up so that I don't select it by accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. Um, I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna kind of get through it pretty fast. Here we go. Okay guys, so that is pretty much how you cut a music video.